Hello again, everyone. So Blizzard released Gray Main today. Uh, so we invite you to join us as we kind of do a little bit of testing, get a feel for him. Uh, we're going to just test it out with an AI match. Um, just low pressure, having some fun. Uh, we've got um, Josh is with me on a new Barack, and we've got some people from the A Move TV and Frog Pants uh, chat rooms. Um, Laskin, O, and Kyle the Murph are playing with us. So uh, we're just going in for fun. Uh, I have no idea what we're going to expect, so uh, buckle up, all right? Uh, I have not played any Grey Main before. I've only looked up a couple strats. No one really knows what's going on, so. Uh, it should be enlightening for all of us. Vilnius will rise again. Just holler when recording started. Uh, we already started recording, dude. You already did? Yes. Like I said, folks, Dang. no idea what's going on. Gotta warn a dude. So this should be pretty fun. Uh, we've got some good CC here with Anubarak, Tyranda, Rainer, Kael'thas. Oh, no tank. <laughs> we got plenty of CC, though. Uh, no tank. I take exception to that. You are not a tank. <laughs> you are a DPS with shields. This was actually a, a topic that came up on Into the Nexus. Okay, I admit Anubrak definitely isn't as sustainable or tanky as other tanks, but if you go his full regen build, he does at least do an okay job. The strength to stand alone. The future belongs to those who take it. Yeah, I'm leaning with you. Gotta save you from yourself, filthy flea bitten worgen. Hate them. Let the battle begin. Well, I checked uh, Heroes Fire for builds, and no one really knows what they're doing yet. No, no, I don't mean as a hero in the game. I just hate Morgan as a concept. Anyone out there who's played a RP server and WoW knows exactly what I'm talking about. Well, that's your first problem. Uh, no. RP is awesome. There we go. So close. I shall purge your evil from this light to the heat fountain quickly. Do, 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 do. So, so far, I find you for my love. A little interesting. Enough. I seek better ground. Grant 
itself. See how that goes. The beast hungers. That's it. We got this. I gotta remember to keep uh, inner beast up. Victory through righteousness. That seems to be uh, his big thing. So uh, you have Gilnan cocktail. While he's in Morgan form, Gilnan Cocktail becomes uh, Razor Swipe, which just looks like a big cleave area. Well, at the very least, how's he playing? Uh, pretty interesting. Still taking a little while to get the handle of him. Yeah, I watched the summary vid on him, and it said he's specifically designed to have very low sustain. So he's really versatile and can really, you know change the shape of a fight, but poke damage is going to be his worst enemy. Which I find funny because they put Lunara first. Fountain. So yeah, so when you're in human form, um, you have Gilnan Cocktail, which uh, deals damage, defeat. and then sort of does a comb. You have Inner Beast, which increase, increases your basic attack speed. Uh, Dark Flight, which transforms you into Worgen form and you kind of leap at an enemy. I think that seems to be a pretty good combo. Is doing a Gilnan cocktail right into Dark Flight. Sean, did you already call out to the do a shout out for the con? No, I didn't. Do you wanna, or...? Yeah, I'll do it at some point. Another victory for the Scourge. Our glory radiates through this land. I will not accept defeat. And it looks like when you mount, you automatically go back into human form, so that's interesting. Most assuredly. 
Yeah, so... Yeah, I'd like to give mad props to Big Luther, Little Luther, uh, the artist formerly known as Luther. Okay, now that one I might actually describe as crispy. So yeah, so it looks like the big thing with again is to uh, I think you could make sure that you have like 100% uptime on Inner Beast. There we go. <laughs> so yeah, uh, pretty interesting hero. He's got a lot going on. <laughs> a little, little difficult to kind of keep track of everything in your first game. So. So I might do a few more. Just see if the rest of the folks want to do some more. Vilnius will rise again. So yeah, uh, the convention that Joss was referring to <coughs> was uh, down. Uh, we Ape Adventures was down at your minicon uh, this past weekend, and so uh, we met a lot of great people down there. I uh, just wanted to give a shout out to some really cool peeps that we've met, including uh, Scott Hamilton, who uh, was at the booth next to us. He was a great guy. A lot of fun. Um, Rusty Gilligan, he was great. Um, <clears throat> I also want to give oh yeah, what alt did you Fred. go with him? And uh, to Gabby and I mean, we never caught her boyfriend's name. He just introduced himself as the boyfriend. Uh, but just wanted to give a shout out to all you guys. You rock. Hector David Jr. was at the booth across from us. Uh, Green Samurai Ranger. He was great. So, just wanted to give a shout out to all you guys. Thanks for making it a great experience. Uh, I ended up picking the. Five, four, um, three, two, one. The ultimate the that, uh, it's hard to describe. It's the one where, you know, if you're Gen, you shoot, and it uh, makes My things vulnerable. Will be their undoing. All right, I know which one you're talking about. I'm going to go top with Rain. Well, absolutely. Sure thing. Running wild. Uh, I fight for my countrymen. Hell yeah. Well, the video shouldn't take long to render. That last game was ridiculously short. Well, it'll be the total length of the video, so it'll be all the matches. I'm still recording. Sweet. I don't care if he's misclassified. I still love Anubarak. Will be their undoing. 
just got a soft spot in my heart for giant bugs. <clears throat> You know, I was trying to go south, and then it just turned way too late, and I just took all those bandages. <laughs> all those bandages. <laughs> I know. I just watched it slowly unfolding. Most assuredly. too far. I've survived much worse than this. Alright, I'm rotating back so, down to uh, mid with you. <clears throat> yeah, they're making a heck of a mess down here. Son of a biscuit. Sean, Sean, no. I fight for my countrymen. For the kill is the name of that, uh, that ult that I took. <clears throat> Coming to mid. For honor and glory. 
Ooh, nice. I fight for my countrymen. I'm back to turn in. Same. That must be that new action. Or no. No, that's for Diablo. Okay. That's a well, that's a new thing. Sweet. So hope you guys have enjoyed uh this quick look at Grey Main. Uh we'll probably do a couple more videos later this week of just more matches with him so just a preliminary preliminary look uh things to remember um inner beast <clears throat> 50 percent attack speed for three seconds you want to keep that up as much as possible to give you that attack speed boost uh you can do this with viciousness at its level one talent so it increases the duration to four seconds and causes ability damage to refresh its duration. So every time you use an ability, um, it'll just refresh that duration. So you want to try and just keep 100% uptime and viciousness. Uh, at level 4, uh, Disengage Grant Stealth. This is great for if you uh, get into Worgen form and then find yourself like in the middle of the, th the thick of things. Uh, you disengage out. Stealth for 4 seconds allows you to get away. Then we did Incendiary Elixir. 200% more damage to the Gilnean Cocktail if it hits an enemy uh, when it impacts. And then if it doesn't impact, it still explodes into that cone. Uh, marked for the kill. Uh, you shapeshift back into human form. Uh, you fire a shot hitting the first enemy hero for, for some damage. Vulnerable for five seconds. And then you can reactivate this to leap at them and shift them to a worgen. Uh, I didn't actually do the second part at all. Uh, so I will make sure to try and keep on that in the future. Uh, on the Prowl. So once you have your inner beast active, um, so you've got your, your attack speed increase. With On the Prowl, if it's been active for three seconds, your movement speed increases by 30%. Great for closing in or escaping. Concentrated Blast. While inner beast is active, Gilnan Cocktail's damage is increased by 80%. Fantastic. 
It allows you to sort of get that big damage in uh, so that when you turn into a worgen, you're able to just finish for the for the kill. Uh, we didn't actually get to level 20, but I would have gone with Gilnean Roulette. So Mark for the Kill passes through enemy heroes, making all of them vulnerable and allowing Leap to be used on each marked target once. Uh, the closest target is preferred. Um, another one that would have been uh, interesting to pick would, would have been Hunter's Blunderbuss, um, which basically uh, causes basic attacks to splash uh, for damage behind the target. Interesting pick. So yeah, so you want to make sure Inner Beast is up as much as possible. Uh, use your Gilnean Cocktail kind of as an opener, uh, and then once you get them down enough, you then Dark Flight to kind of leap at them, sort of like uh, like Kerrigan. Uh, and then when you're in Worgen form, you can then disengage to shift away and use Razor Swipe uh, as just sort of an AoE attack. Okay? So, hope you've enjoyed this video. Again, uh, you know, this was just for fun. You know, we're all kind of trying out sort of new heroes and everything. So, uh, if you see, you know... Everything all right? Stuff that's, uh, you know, a little subpar play, you know, keep that in mind, all right? So, hope you enjoy Grey Main as well. Uh, we're not really expecting to see him a lot in Hero League, but, you know, that's the case with new heroes. All right? So, have fun, enjoy, and take care.